it's Jamie with Loving All Seasons and I am here today with a huge Dollar Tree haul. I had picked up most of these items before I got sick and went MIA. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will try to link my Ray Dunn and life update with that for my longtime subscribers. If you're new, welcome. Um, I have spring and Easter in this haul. I think I'm going to save the other stuff for another haul because it's just going to be too long. But I want to get into this because these spring items for summer, spring and summer items, are going to go fast in your store. If you haven't seen them in anybody else's haul, run. Run to your Dollar Tree. Okay, first I'm going to start out with the summer slash spring items that I think are pretty amazing. One is this pot. Now, ah, I can't get the part. There we go. So they had, I believe, gray and this terracotta color. I did not see the gray in my store. Honestly, I think I probably would have got that for my deck. But you can poke the holes in the bottom. But look at how big these are, you guys. In any other store, you know, these would cost, I don't know, anywhere up to five, six dollars. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it would be more. I feel like they're, I mean, they're pretty well made. But when I saw these, I, I just couldn't believe it. And I, I had to grab them. So I grabbed two. The other planners that I was so amazed by and maybe they've had these before I don't think they've had those large ones but look at these okay these were a dollar a piece but they're stackable and I want to show you the picture up close what you can do so basically you have kind of like that whole pots tilting back and forth that people do on the tall but how cool are these for your deck for your front porch for wherever but I mean for a dollar you guys I just I totally love these so I got four of these and I want to say these may have came, come in other colors too but I'm not sure but I was so excited for those items uh, the next thing I found were these jumbo garden bags so they're like satchels almost I think let me open one up. And I thought these would be good for your leaves, things like that. I mean, this is pretty big. Let's see the size. Uh, 30.3 by 24.8 inches, approximately. That's what they're saying. So this is what they look like. Heck, guys, you don't even have to use these for your yard. Shoot, you can use these for anything you need it for. But that's a good size. Um, they're showing dirt on there. But when I saw that, and I mean, it's like that plastic kind of recyclable. Recycle. You know what I'm trying to say, guys. <laughs> but I just thought this was a cool find. And I can see these going fast as well as the, the um, planners. The other thing, which is probably one of my favorite finds, and there was three in the store that I was at, and I grabbed all three. It's for the succulents. It's galvanized. It's called a wall vase. And that's what they're calling it. You could put succulents. You could put whatever you want in there. But, you know, I still like the galvanized. So, this will be really cute. And what I was thinking, like, I could put all three. You know, I can't obviously hold the third one. But maybe put the third one down here or something like that up in my house. With succulents or just flowers coming out of it. Um... You know, like uh, the viney flowers hanging down. I thought that would be so cool. So I just want to show you those. But those are the items I really wanted to get out and show you guys. Because I know that 
they're going to go really fast in your Dollar Tree. All right. Next thing I'm going to hop on to the Easter. One of the finds that I found, which what I thought was so stinking cool, was these shirts. They're pink shirts. Now, I don't have any little ones in my home that can wear these, but I have little neighbors. And I just love the little guys. They're probably a little still too big with them it says chilling with my peeps and it is actually the peep the little peep guys on there but I thought they were so cute and I could not believe they were a dollar you know and I know that oh by the way these came from I want to say I saw it said the children's place or something somewhere I don't know where I saw it actually these say peeps and company but the only size I could find was small so I couldn't find any other size but I also found this little guy but this was the only one he's got like a bean bag bottom and it is the peeps I'm hoping I can find two more to put with the little shirts I like to give my little neighbors little Easter baskets. You know, it's fun when they're little. You can give them the chalk, sidewalk chalk, all that good stuff. So um, that was really exciting to find. Uh, next, let's see. Another really cool find that I found were these, these steaks. You know, you can put them in your flower beds. You can put them in a, a pot. These don't even have to be just for Easter, you guys. You could put them out by your garden. If you have a flower, you know, say you just do pots or whatever for your tomatoes and things like that. I mean, you could always stick them in there, right? But they, these, I can't, I can't remember if they had a lot of these. Or not, because like I said, I bought these before I got sick, so that was well over a month ago. But I'm sure maybe your stores might have them. They are, they're metal. They're really well made. It's not flimsy. Um, it's a orange. It's not a bright, bright orange, but it's, it's really pretty. So I grabbed three of these, you know, thinking, oh, I'll stick them in a pot or something really cute right so I got those all right next we'll hop on some of the craft type items so I found these craft eggs there's six in a pack and what I thought with these I could wrap them in twine you can paint them um, another thing is Mod Podge like a cute um, like napkin or something on it or you could even make it a burlap egg uh so because i what i've used in the past is the plastic eggs and did that but i think it'll be a lot easier with these so you get six of them this is a uh, 2.7 inches seven centimeters is what size this is and then i got a smaller size too uh, this one was eight in a pack and these are 2.3 inches, six centimeters. So just so you can see the difference. But once again, so you can, you know, wrap them, do whatever you want. You can make them unique. You can color them, paint them, whatever. So I grabbed those and then I grabbed this bunny, craft bunny. Same thing with him. I think it'd be really cool if you Mod podge him and uh, put something like those, people find those cool little napkins. You can put that all over the bunny. Um, you could paint him. I think I saw someone actually paint him. I don't remember which uh, YouTube channel it was, but it looked really neat when it was done. So I got those. Then I grabbed these felt bunny garlands with pom-poms. So the reason why I grabbed two, you guys, 
I'm not too keen on those bright colors, but I do like the pastel. So it has purple, yellow, blue, and pink. And then it has like a aqua, uh, a neon, uh, pink, the uh, green, if I can talk here. <laughs> but I thought this would be really cute. I'm hoping to do a couple little quick, deep, quick DIYs. I love quick and easy. So that's usually what I do for myself. But um, I really would like to film it in and play it for you guys. All right. Um, let's see what else. I don't think I have any more other craft stuff that I'm going to show today. Whoops. But I did find these. Now, I saw a while ago a uh, crafty girl. She had found them, and I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. So, it's a garland, six feet, and they're carrots. So, I grabbed two because they are kind of sparse in between. But I will tell you what you could do is put the bunnies somehow in between these carrots. And that would be really cute. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know yet. But I had to pick them up. I mean, it kind of looks like the carrots that they sell, I think is really what it is. But hey, they did the work for you. Why not let them? I bought a couple of the ribbons. So this is three yards. And it's like a burlap and it's wired. So it says, let's see, Happy Easter. I think that's all it says. But it says it in like cursive and um, print, just all different types of fonts. But I grabbed a couple of those in case I actually do a Easter wreath, which I'm wanting to. All right. Next thing is this bunny butts. You guys, I have been wanting to share this for you well over a month. These little bunny butts, you can make little soaps in here. I know people have bought these to do soaps in here. Now, I don't know how to make a soap. I'm not even going to try. But obviously, ice cubes. You could do jello. You could do whatever in these. But how stinky you know though? Oops. You get, it's just an ice tray is what it says. And there is, what is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve. <laughs> I can count, really. But I thought those were really cute and I needed to share those with you. Um, so I do the straws in my coffee bar uh, for all the holidays and seasons. And I was looking for something for spring. Well, now that I know how I did my kitchen, I wish I would have grabbed some other colors. But I do have like a purplish pink. I found these. 18. And if you get these anywhere else, they're a couple dollars. And what I do is I use these just to stir my coffee and I toss them. And, you know, they're the paper straws. Well, while I was looking for those, I know this is not Easter, but look at what I found. Buffalo check. And maybe they had these around the holidays, but I didn't see them. So I grabbed one. So if I decide to do some Buffalo check for this Christmas, and then of course that, you know, I, I always can use those colors for Christmas. So I got the three of those. So be on the lookout. If you have a, uh, you know, your coffee bar, these are great for to stir them and toss them. All right. Another quick thing I found was this cute little bucket. Now, I'm going to add some pictures at the end. Make sure you guys check them out because there was a bunch of other stuff that I did not buy. You know, I actually said I was trying to be better, but the seasonal stuff I always go crazy over. I always do, and I can't help it, and I'm trying to get to where I don't. But look at how gorgeous this is, you guys. It says... Carrot Patch, Pick Your Own Daily, Farm Fresh Egg, 
eggs, flower market, um, annual cottontail, but that is just gorgeous. And I don't know, I think I might put a flower in here, maybe a real one, just set it in there for, uh, you know, the spring and Easter. So really cute, but they had a couple other ones and I uh, will insert the pictures at the end. I grabbed this because I do believe that, you know, Easter is for uh, Jesus. And I uh, want to make a garland with this. So I i don't know if I'm going to, I'm probably going to stain that. And I have some beads. And then I, I'm thinking that's what I want to do with this little cross. But that was in the crafter square area all right then i found these you guys i was so excited this is a little easter bunny and they are little gumball machines now i plan on painting the bottom but i wanted to show you see what i have in there other people could not figure out like everything was too big but these come out so these are the six six slits is what they're called. I'll show you as I eat one. And they're not bad. My son says they're gross, but I'm like, whatever. So I bought these at the Dollar Tree. This is what I put in there. You get 25 packs of those. I cut them all open and that's what's inside here. So if you guys did find these, and you couldn't find anything to fit inside of them, these fit in them. And if your kids like these, then, then you guys can snack on them too. But I got the egg and the Easter Bunny. Super cute, right? Especially for your two-tier trays, things like that. Really cute. All right. The last couple items, not so exciting. I grabbed a couple of m ms for Easter baskets for my kids. Or for my husband not sure yet actually I got these because I wasn't sure if they would fit but then when I saw those when I saw these I knew those would work all right so I bought some of these little jars okay and then I found these little erasers and you know how at um, Halloween Target had the little jars. I thought how cute would these be and you could set it on a tear tray. Now mind you, I did my tear trays. Um, I don't know if I'll end up putting these in there, but I just wanted to show you guys if you're interested and you get eight erasers and then in these, I think you get four, but I'll show you these in the next haul. And I know you guys have probably seen these before. And it was a, I don't know, I got them in there. But to be honest, I don't think this, I don't think he's going to be able to come back out unless I break it. So, last thing, not so exciting, but this little uh, hand soap. And it's a little Easter bunny. And to be honest, I'll probably just stick him by my sink. I mean, it smells okay. It doesn't really smell like much of anything, but um, he is like a light pink. I know you can't really tell because it's really light. Or maybe he's white. Honestly, I can't even tell now. <laughs> he looks kind of white on the thing, but that's it. So that is it for the spring and like summer that I've found so far. I really haven't been back into the Dollar Trees that much um, like I said, most of this was found beforehand. Uh, I probably do plan on stopping in just to see what they got. Uh, I will tell you, I still am looking for that one sign that, um, can't remember who showed it, but it looked like a, uh, cutting board. None of my stores got it. And I couldn't find the little Easter bunny. And those were so stinking cute. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't find everything all the time. But this video is a lot longer than I had planned. You guys have an amazing day.
and be kind to one another, love one another, and find that joy. And you guys have, oh, don't forget, give me the big thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.